I have a wild idea and I'm not sure if it's going to work, but we are going to try it today. We are going to make some sausage gravy cinnamon rolls. They're not really cinnamon rolls, but they're kind of like cinnamon rolls and I hope they're delicious. Let's make this. Start by turning your oven on to 350 degrees. If ever a recipe does not tell you how high to heat your oven, it's 350 degrees. Stop asking. I don't usually make sausage gravy in a pot, but I am today. I don't know why, it just feels right. Bob Evans sausage, let me teach you the sausage trick. First of all, don't drop it on the floor. Second of all, cut straight through the package, like so. Then shake it into your pan. See, brown that shit up until it's actually brown. While your sausage is browning, you're going to crack your eggs, however many your family requires. I think about 12 for us. Chop your sausage up aggressively. While my sausage continues to brown, I will whisk up my eggs. Am I doing anything special to these? Not really, I'm adding salt and pepper and I'm making scrambled eggs, do that. Our sausage is now brown and crumbled, so we are going to add flour right into our sausage. It's going to turn the grease in there with the flour into a roux, which will thicken up our gravy. A quarter cup of flour, because that's the first measuring cup I grab. You want to cook your flour down for just a minute so it doesn't taste like flour. If you want your sausage gravy to be a little brown in color, let your flour toast off a little bit in the pan. It will give it that caramely brown color. As for me, I don't give a shit, so I'm gonna add in my lactose-free milk. You can use regular milk or whatever kind of milk you consume, but this is what I'm using because I'm a lactose intolerant lady. I think like four cups. And then we're going to pepper this. Air on the side of less milk. You can always add more milk. You can't take it away. If it is too thick, add more milk. It has been a few minutes and my sausage gravy is thick and coating the back of my spoon and my eggs are scrambled and cooked. I did not show you that. I think you know how to scramble an egg. It is now time to assemble our sausage gravy cinnamon roll situation. Start by spraying your pan. We don't want shit sticking to this. I have here pizza dough from the freezer at the store that I have thawed out and it's been proofing in my fridge for probably far too long. We are going to use this as our cinnamon roll pizza dough dough. Flatten this out. I have two of them. I might need both of them. I'm going to need both of them. I am going to attempt to arrange this in a single layer so that I can roll these out into cinnamon rolls. I don't have faith at this point that this is going to come together the way that I want it to. Shred your fucking cheese. Going down on our dough first. Some of our sausage gravy. Spread your eggs out evenly, something like that. Next up, cheese right on top. Now that we have cheese on our pizza situation, we are going to roll it up into a cinnamon roll, hopefully. That's the plan. It helps if it starts busting and leaking everywhere. Something like that. Now, taking an absolutely massive knife, cut this into equal sized pieces. Stand them on their butts and pat their heads, just like always. Wash your fucking hands and top each of them with more cheese. This way, your eggs and your sausage don't burn in the oven. That's my hope at least. I don't know what I'm doing. Pop this in the oven at 350 degrees and hope that you have dinner in a few minutes. I am not impressed with myself often, but I am very impressed right now. Does that not look like the most delicious breakfast for dinner you've ever seen? I cannot wait to try this. I'm really hoping it's as delicious as it looks. The only thing that can make a sausage gravy cinnamon roll better is topping it with more sausage gravy. So let's do that. This needs to be on a restaurant menu somewhere. Like, I need to be able to go somewhere and not make it myself, but have someone make this for me. This is delicious. Make this shit. But, of course it's good. I made it. Follow along for more aggressive tutorials. 